After the disastrous launch of Cyberpunk 2077, we all pretty much assumed they gotta follow it up with a Witcher title. But can it live up to The Witcher 3? We'll find that out later on in the video. Yo, what's good? You already know I'm Ken Wall. And yesterday, CD Projekt Red announced that they have a Witcher game in active development. Many people were- Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Some were- <laughs> Okay. Regardless of how you feel, today we are going to talk about this announcement and discuss whether or not CD Projekt Red can return to glory with this one. It was said that you would destroy this and not join them! Oh my god, guys, let's it's time to speculate. It this isn't a white wolf, so that means we potentially could not be playing with Gerald. We could be playing with Siri, because that looks like Siri. Look at the eyes and the point. I'm just bullshitting you. I'm just speculating. <laughs> We're happy to announce that the next installment in the Witcher series of video games is in current development, kicking off a new saga for the franchise. So as you notice, there is no Witcher 4 as of yet. It could be Witcher 4, but right now it's just a Witcher game that's in development. They're not labeling it. The, this is an exciting moment as we're moving from the Red Engine to Unreal Engine 5, beginning a multi-year strategic partnership with Epic Games. It covers not only licensing, but technical develop. Man, you, I know y'all don't care about that like that. Let, let's go to the next important part. Red Engine, the technology which powers Cyberpunk 2077, is still being used for the development of the upcoming Cyberpunk 2077 expansions. Where are the release? Oh, come on. We, we need some details on those expansions, man. I need something to come back to with Cyberpunk. But wh wh whatever, whatever. This is about The Witcher. It's very good to know that they're moving from the Red Engine from, to... Unreal Engine 5, because if you don't know, Red Engine caused a lot of problems during the development of Cyberpunk 2077, and that was one of the reasons why it led to a shit like that. So it's good that these guys are working with the technology needed to make their jobs easier and more productive. Hopefully this game comes out in a reasonable time. I'm thinking honestly, 2025, I could see this game coming out in 2025, 2026. It, it, it's still a long time, but I don't think it's going to be something that's like eight years out or something. The game is being led by Gwent's game director. Hell, I got to look at his credits because I'm not going to lie. Why is why is this guy directing the game? Because isn't the Gwent game a card Bruh. game? <laughs> isn't it just a card game? So I, I want to know why he what he's done i'm not saying that he doesn't deserve it or anything but why is a, a, a dude who's doing a card game directing this that, that's something i don't get I, i'm curious to see what this guy has done in the company before because a card game I, i'm not seeing how this shit correlates at all but he's the new game director because as you know the previous guy he's starting a new game he left cd project red during the development of cyberpunk 2077 so we'll see how this all pans out anyways let's 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 address the elephant in the room here witcher 3 and then cyberpunk 2077 and then this game they're all like they're all connected to each other because of what witcher 3 giving them that that mantle of Oh my God, these guys are the best. These guys are the best of the best. So everyone was ranting and raving about CD Projekt Red. They were the chosen ones. Everyone was like, yo, CD Projekt Red might be the chosen one. Because at that time, when, when Witcher 3 came out, we were getting a bunch of games that had microtransactions. They were trash, yada, yada. But then Witcher 3 came out, we were like, this is the holy grail. I didn't play it at the time, but that's how many people were describing it as. Then Cyberpunk 2077 happened. That shit is a, a two pack of ass. You were supposed to do it, destroy the Sith, not join them. This is what Cyber, Cyberpunk did to us. And now we have this game. We have all the stuff that's happened with Cyberpunk. We have a whole collection of events. Now, in my opinion, I made a video about this a couple months ago. I don't know if CD Projekt Red can come back because those people that went into making The Witcher 3 them leaving uh that's kind of shaky that's 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 a lot of talent you're losing but before the next gen patch came out i decided to hop on cyberpunk 2077 on my playstation 5. so i was playing it i was playing i was like yo holy shit, this game's graphics are unreal because the first time playing it i played it on my playstation 4 pro 
it ran fine. I got through the game. Few there was crashes, obviously, frame rate issues, all of that. But I was able to enjoy my experience. But then when I went back, I was like, I was like, bro, this is the best futuristic city I've ever been in. And I got the full grasp of what they were doing with Cyberpunk 2077. I definitely would say that they got the ambition and they still got it with them in their DNA. And I do think because this company has been on the edge of just non-existing for a long time since The Witcher 2. So I think they, they know they can't mess up, but at the end of the day, it's still a, a goddamn corporation. I think Witcher 4 is going to be a lot better and it's going to hit the mark with in terms of this because cd project red this is a very important game for them they have to nail it there's there's no other choice so we'll we'll see witcher the next witcher game whatever it is i do think a lot of fans are going to be happy with it i don't think it's gonna come with a bunch of bugs or whatever but i could be wrong i could be wrong it's 2022 we don't even have a release date a lot of shit could go wrong it could happen exactly like cyberpunk or it couldn't we can get a better game like the witcher better game than the witcher 3 that's my scenario i hope for obviously i do not want the former in conclusion let me know what you guys think do you think the witcher 3 will be always better will always be their magnum opus or do you think witcher 4 there's room for witcher 4 to just blow the roof off of that because i know there's always going to be that old guard that goes like, oh the witcher 3 is always better and there's always going to be those people so uh, we'll see as always you already know i'm ken wall remember to like and subscribe and i'll see you soon peace